Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. When we last left off, we came back to pick up our last few items. And uh, I believe we did that. Let's go check. Now, I haven't actually played this game for a little while because me and my partner... Yeah, we settled this off, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, me and my partner are actually back in self-isolation, which was interesting. Uh, we got a letter from the government, or an email, I should say, because we came into contact with someone with the dreaded plague. Uh, we're actually both completely fine. We've, at the time of this recording, it's been about six days now. Uh, so six days of free holiday, essentially. Um, only problem is, my... Uh, cable for my PC actually died. In fact... Yeah, well, there's only one of them. Let's see, what should we take? Uh, well, we're going to be needing that soon. So, let's go take this. Probably don't need that anymore. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so my cable for my PC died. Um, I've been using a D-sub cable for ages. And, um, you know, probably like my last three graphics cards or something. So, I ordered... A new one because that's what you would do and I also ordered a new one for my secondary monitor as well HDMI for my secondary monitor uh, and a new display port cable because I've got a new fancy gaming monitor uh, display port so the HDMI cable for my secondary monitor arrived my display port cable for some reason got delayed by like four days so i haven't actually had my computer for like four days uh oh what's going on in here ah, this looks very spoopy well let's go harvest up some goodies this isn't exactly looking that fantastic isn't it claire also uh, valve have announced the steam deck not to be confused with the stream deck which is a portable, fairly powerful gaming PC uh, in a Switch form factor. Bloodstained scalpels are scattered around. And all I can say to you, Mr. Gabe Newell, is, uh, you know, what any self-respecting um, gamer could say to such a discovery. And that's, you know, take my fucking money. Uh, it appears that he has been... Uh, so he's been, like, sliced up. Well, this doesn't exactly look pleasant, does it? Yeah, the idea of taking my Steam library on the go on a portable, little, powerful gaming PC, uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm all fucking over that. So, uh, Anatomist's Notes. There is a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a, a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. Oof. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me, and has given me facilities, chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about. I swear, the basement of this medical building will be kept a secret. Of course, I keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they will never be able to tell that it is the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. No dude, your life ended when you decided to sign on with Umbrella. Uh, an elaborate model of the human body. Hmm. Something seems to be missing. Yeah, not sure what. Maybe one of those baby blues. Yeah, so I don't know if this guy was actually working for Umbrella. Or if he was just working with uh, Alfred. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's move on. Body bags are piled up here. Yeah. This is a really fucking grisly place. Oof. Probably one of the most horrific places in Resident Evil. Uh, history, I think. This is proper nightmare fuel. 
Right, come on out the way, Mr. Zombie. Fucking zombos think they own the place, honestly. Get out of it. Alright, let's knife you. Sweep the leg, motherfucker. Good enough. Good enough. Alright, not bad, not bad. Uh, this guy... Oh, this guy's a speedy one. Let's see if we can't knock him off a few pegs. Oh, no, he's gonna grab. He's gonna grab. I hate it when they go for that grab. It's so annoying. There's not much you can do about it either. Okay, come on, dude. Sweep the leg. Oh, are you serious? Are you actually serious? That was a bit savage. That room went really badly. Oh, also, uh, I have just managed to get an awesome steam sale. Which I was really surprised about. I've been thinking quite a lot about Baldur's Gate. One of my favourite RPGs of all time. Played it hundreds of thousands of times. My favourite RPG. Probably, no, scratch that. Probably my favourite RPG of all time. And I came to the realisation the other day that I've never actually bought the enhanced edition that came out like 600,000 years ago. And I've never actually bought um, the second game or the Icewind Dale games, even though I played little bits of them. Ah, actually, I think there's a herb back here. Over the years. Uh, the second one and Icewind Dale I kind of played bits of, but not, not as thoroughly as Baldur's Gate. Uh, so I thought, oh, I'll just have a quick look on Steam. I think they're like quite expensive, but we'll, we'll just check it out. Lo and behold, <laughs> the whole lot, all the Icewind Dales, the whole lot, eight pounds. Um, yeah, done. Uh, so I'm gonna go and enjoy that. After I've played a good bit of this. Isolation has its perks, and I go back to work for two days, and then I'm off again. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I mean, terrible shame. Awful. Right. Also had a really annoying boss. New boss. Um, that I didn't really get on very well with. Really didn't like the guy. I had a special name for him, which we will not go into here. And I've uh, just been informed yesterday, he's been fired. <laughs> I mean, you know, poor man. Anyway, let's go and have a little gander back through here and see what the hell's going on. Why, why are you feeling a little bit nervous, Claire? Ooh. That doesn't sound good. Let's combine this to make uh, this... Custom handgun. M93R burst. It's an M93R equipped with a stock. It can be adjusted to fire three bullets in succession. Yeah, this gun's pretty gnarly. I don't know why Claire has this in this version. Uh, it's, I always thought it was kind of strange because this is like Leon's signature weapon, but we're not going to complain. So it now holds 20 rounds and it fires in bursts, but even its standard fire rate is much improved. Uh, you can squeeze off rounds pretty quickly. Only drawback with this weapon is the same as, uh, as this weapon always has in Resident Evil, and that is that it just eats ammo way too quickly. Uh, we're going to keep it on auto for now. Oof. It's like Dr. Death over there. Seems to be having his uh, assistant for lunch. Although I don't think that is his assistant. Yeah, there's two of them. Because why wouldn't there be? Dr. Death's pretty quick. But luckily, with our new gun, we are quicker. There we go. That'll do. That will do. That will do. I'm sorry that had to happen to you, dude. You're probably one of Billy's friends. But, uh, well, hopefully you can find some rest now. Let's take that off. Keep that on manual mode. Oh, rough. Very rough. Okay, then. Well, 
Thanks for the glass eye, Dr. Death. Gee, I wonder where we can use that. Luckily, I know. And so does Claire. Much better. Unfortunately, this yields a very unpleasant place. A very, very unpleasant place. If your ass is being dragged down here, and it is your last... Uh, cooling. You're about to have a very bad time indeed. Uh, you know what? That's fine. That'll do. Bloody bats in this place. I freaking hate them. And Claire, I didn't want you to start stabbing them. No, and I didn't want you to quick... Oh dear, this is going really badly. Didn't want you to quick turn either. Seriously? We're actually injured because of those bats. I've never been injured because of those bats before. That is pretty unbloody believable, to be honest. Alright, well, I mean, can't be helped. I mean, it could have been helped. Really? That was like an invincible zombie. And that zombie's going for a really nasty bite as well. Ah. Uh. Everything that could go did go wrong. So if I'm allowed to say cunt in a song. Uh, right, okay. That was really unpleasant to say the least. Poor Claire. Oh, this is a quick one too, but that's okay. We got the critical on him. Do you like getting a critical on a zombie? And we've saved an awful lot of bullets, so. Not that bullets are exactly at a premium right now, but... <sighs> okay. So, what are we looking at here? Looks like uh, these two had their own private little torture chamber between them. This is unpleasant to say the least. Ugh. What have we got here? Oh, I can't believe that guy bit me. This appears to be an old water mill. Why'd he bite me? Very grisly stuff. Like proper medieval torture stuff right here. Nasty. Oh well, let's keep going. Can't cry for the dead. Um, now. This looks a little bit interesting, doesn't it? The stone statue is holding a rusted sword. Take the rusted sword. Yeah. Have a little look at this thing. Uh oh. That's... That's not good. Bollocks. We've got gas. We've got gas. Come on, Claire. Move your ass. Claire. Not sure why she's not turning that. Um, that is actually a pretty hard area. <laughs> a pretty hard thing to get Claire to turn. Don't know why. I had that problem when I was playing this a few weeks ago as well. Yeah, it has been that long since I, I played this game. Um, right. So, we've got the knife. Oh, God, that was bad. Let's have a look at this. It's like a very heavy sword. It's rusted. And cannot be used as a weapon. Well, that's unfortunate. The statue is made of iron. There's a hole in the chest. Well... Let's go stick it. Uh oh. That's not good. Luckily, Claire moves with the quickness. Drop that son of a bitch. No time for tears, Claire. We hardly knew him. Oh, that's pretty grisly, though. The way the knife... Well, the blade's gone straight through him. Oof. But that does yield us a piano roll. That's pretty unfortunate. Uh, right, let's combine these two together. Yeah, that's pretty sucky, to be honest, dude. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what you did to end up in a place like this, but it probably was a pretty unjust end, to say the least. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now, we know where we need to use a piano roll. This is a gribbly, nightmarish place, and uh, 
Let's just say, oh god, bloody bats. Wouldn't that be hilarious if we got killed by bats? See, look at that. It didn't even attack me. Not even sure how we got got by bats to begin with. You're right, Claire. You're good. We'll get you through this. One way or another, we'll get you through this. Hopefully. I'm not saying it might take multiple timelines. Definitely not saying you might die. But, you know, that's where the excitement comes in, I guess. That's the fun and the adventure of it all. You know? If we knew all the answers, it wouldn't be as exciting. There we go. No point using all the bullets in the world on these guys, I guess. Ten rounds should be enough to drop this guy. Just drop him. You can see the... Um, just how fast you can actually squeeze rounds off of this gun now. Way better than it was before. Alright. Uh, so let's reload that bad boy. Let's go uh, look at this item box over here. Just because we're carrying a lot of junk right now. Don't need a green herb. Uh, a red herb, I should say. Definitely not. And we don't need the bowgun bolts either. Yuck. Terrible things. So what we've got? We've got 30 gunpowder arrows, right? Not bad. Now there is like 600 bowgun bolts in this game. There's a lot. I mean, there's 930 odd handgun bullets. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that that's a lot of handgun bullets. As I'm sure you guys can appreciate. Look at all the freaking herbs we've got. Like... Seriously, is that enough? I mean, we haven't even started. We haven't been careful either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight of these things. Now, um, when it comes to uh, green herbs in this game, um, obviously you can use as many of those as you want, but when it comes to first aid sprays, I should say, there's no particular penalty for using F aid sprays, I don't think. I don't think it, it, it uh, fucks up your rank. It just allows you not to be able to unlock the linear launch. Uh, no, the rocket launcher. Yeah, because you can unlock an infinite rocket launcher in this game. But it's stupidly difficult. Absolutely stupidly difficult. Um... The criteria is you need to complete the game in less than four and a half hours without saving once and you're not allowed. Hey guys. Oh god, you son of a fucking bitch. Yeah, and you're not allowed to use uh, FH sprays and you're not allowed to save it once. That's... yeah, I've never actually done it. Maybe we should give it a go at some point. But to be honest... It's just stupid. You know? Is it possible? Absolutely. Um, but there's a lot of things... Ah, shit. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this game. Like, the end boss in this game as well is janky as fuck. So, to get all the way to the end in the correct time and die, that savage... Now, it is actually worth noting, if you play this version of the game, um, you're at a bit of a disadvantage. If you play it on the GameCube, you actually get a free save when you go to swap discs. So, obviously, when you swap the discs over halfway through, when you go to Antarctica, the game allows you to save, and I think that's the same. it's the same on the Dreamcast as well. Um... But obviously this version there is no swapping of discs so you don't have that save and obviously that save is mandatory uh, and that doesn't count against you so it's probably easier on those two versions because you only have to keep replaying the first half of the game but it, it's still savage greetings you must be the lovely claire redfield where do you come from who are you Let's just say that I'm a ghost. 
coming back to haunt your dear brother. Wesker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother can definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. Um. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? some further use to me I'm going to let you live a little longer Oof. <sighs> yeah I love how utterly utterly evil Wesker is he just he doesn't give two fucking shits about anybody <laughs> It's glorious. Um, also, a bit of the dialogue there that Claire says doesn't really make a lot of sense when she goes, "Oh, my brother isn't who you think he is," or something like that. That has that makes no sense with any of the context that you know Wesker just said. She, he he didn't even mention anything about uh, her brother's character. It just okay. Really weird. Obviously, you know, translation errors and stuff like that. Uh, now, let's go in here and get our piano roll. I thought I had a zombie then. I was going to say, wait a minute, there's no zombies in here. Right, stick you in. Music, that freaking music, guys. Ooh, king and objects. Now, where have we seen something like that before? Hmm. Well, yes, we're gonna head back to the residence. Okay. No time like the present. Listen to that music. Oh, that f I could stay out there and just listen to that and just soak in the ambience for a little bit longer. Hmm. Um, let's think. So we've got to go back to the residence. We've got that on. Yeah, we should be fine. I don't think there's anything big going to bite us in the ass. I don't think so anyway. I think we'll be fine. Um, this on fully auto mode will handle uh, a bandersnatch or two, but I don't think there is any. Okay, cool. Yeah, Wesker's definitely leveled up, shall we say, in this game. He's certainly becoming his Matrix self. Hey, guys. Uh, oh, I don't really want to waste all these bullets, though. Uh, you know what, actually? You know what we could use here? I know what we could use here. We've got a little bit, just a little bit of um, ammo left in our MP100s. Let's go use that. I was thinking about taking those with me. There's no point wasting all this uh, handgun ammo because like, now the hang handgun is upgraded. It's not a terrible weapon. Uh, 18%. We could also go splurge a load of that. 
Yeah. Go on then. Okay. There's zomb is there zombies in yeah, there's definitely zombies in the re residence as well. But let's go use these up. Just because. There's no point having like 18%. Now I'm not sure how tight that time limit actually is. Four and a half hours to complete this game with the best uh you know. I don't think it's super tight. I mean, I guess it's probably tight enough. No, you... Okay, those guys are dead. Impressive, Snake. Good enough. Might actually kill all these guys here. I don't think... Oh, we're out. I don't think those guys get back up after you use this. Now, I was watching... Um, uh, Reaver of Jill Sandwiches. We're going to put these back because I can't remember just how many items are back in the res residence. I can't remember now. Uh, yeah, I was watching Reaver of Jill Sandwiches. Uh, let's play of this. And I think it was Reaver, actually, that noticed these guys don't get back up if you kill them with the MP100s. Uh, or the uh, M100Ps. And he seems to be correct about that. And I didn't actually notice this. All the times that I've played through this game, admittedly, that's, you know, I haven't played this game through as many uh, times as the others, uh, the older games. And I don't know why, because it's strange. I never really feel like playing this game until it's time to play this game, right? Does that make sense? maybe but when I do play this game I always find myself having so much fun with it not sure why come on dude there you go there you go save every bullet Ooh, fucking zomboids damn zombo bastards right let's put a fresh magazine in there I think uh, I always just forget how good this game actually is. It is obviously seen as the black sheep. Re fucking remember you, boy. Oh, God. Okay. I don't remember these. I Well, actually, that's not true. I do remember these two turning up. But I don't remember it being here. This could be bad. Well, I mean, it won't be bad because we have this gun, but... That was sloppy of me. Luckily, I mean, this handgun... I mean, you can see just how powerful this handgun is. It really makes short work, these guys. The only, I mean, I always remember that guy coming up there because I remember that... that scene there is really creepy. It's perfect for something to jump out at you. Um, but I forgot there's two of them. That, I definitely don't remember two of them. But here we are. Oh, embarrassing. Really embarrassing. Ooh. I do remember that this place is now crawling with Zeds. Ooh. I always think these army guys are a little bit tougher than your standard Zed, but they're not. There we go. Oh, this music! This freaking music. Oh, it's glorious. Actually being a little bit quiet here, guys, because I'm just listening to the music. There we go. Are you dead? Huh. Alright. That's fine with me. You can be dead if you like. Oof. Critical. You just rolled a critical failure, sir. Oh, now Claire rolled a critical failure. That was just useless, Claire. Ah. <sighs> 
That was fucking useless. It's almost like we're trying to get hit as often as we possibly can. Now, I think there's two zombies here. There's one at the top and one down below, I think. Oof, we got really lucky there. That's what we want. We want multiple hits. Yeah, there's another one there. Okay. There's one down. I thought, oh, there's three here. That's fine. That's fine. That's not fine. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, do we risk it with a knife? Do we risk it? I like taking these knife risks, so It's just fun killing these zombies with a knife. Ooh. Ooh. You fucking gift-wrapped yourself for me. At least you gift-wrapped yourself for Claire. And you almost, you were almost a man. And one left. Come on, dude. Yeah, man. Camera. Make this nice and easy for Claire. We'll give you a big old kiss afterwards. With a knife, of course. I, mean, I don't know what he's expecting. Not gonna kiss you with anything else, are we? Moldy ass zombie bastard. Okay. Well, uh let's go in through here then. So, it's like we have this message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revealed through your courage and strength as an honoured soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. Mm. Who, what armed forces did he serve in, though? Was it just his own family thing? Private military? I guess we don't know. Now, were there any bullets or anything in here? Uh, yeah, nothing useful. Uh, nope, nothing, I guess. Alright, well, let's go through. And head upstairs. Pretty sure we can go through the... Um, door in the middle, but I actually can't remember. For some reason, my mind is telling me that that's locked. Okay. A hole in the ceiling has been sealed. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Give me that. Now, can we go through? Uh, no, we can't. I didn't think we could. Newbie mistake. Right. Now this music plate must weigh an absolute ton. Okay. Um. Quick bit of the old switcheroo. Lovely. Alright, let's head up into the infinite darkness. <gasps> See what I did there. Okay, now this totally is not creepy whatsoever, is it? Ugh. A picture of an ant is drawn on the wall. It appears that the key... Uh, it appears that the keyhole is the mouth part. Yeah. Gribbly. Lots of dolls and weird kids' toys and everything. Oof. Well... Take the silver dragonfly. We certainly will take the silver dragonfly. And whilst we have that, let's. 
detach its wings. <gasps> wings have been detached. <gasps> oh no, it appears to be a creepy ass key. Who would have thought that? Give me that. Yink. Uh, you know what? Might as well just munch that down now. There we go. Feeling a little bit better now. Look at all this weird shit everywhere. Oof. God, just the idea of these two creepy kids up here alone. Like, riding this thing around. Really is pretty fucked up when you think about it. Well, looks like we're going further up. Oh, yeah. Other side. Why stop a good thing? Let's keep going. Oh, an item box. Ah, this is a save room. Well, that's perfect, because we're on 36 minutes. I knew there's an item box up here, but I forgot there's a save room here. Very interesting. Who's played the clip? The 10-year-old girl genius graduated at the top of her class from a prestigious university. The international corporation Umbrella Chemical Inc. offered her the position of head researcher. Yeah, at the age of 10 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, you sure, why not? It was definitely uh, totally legit there. Uh, we don't need... Oh, that's not an item box. It's the thing that we need to... Yeah, we need to push this up to that one. I was going to say, I remember that there's like one thing here or the other. I thought there was ink ribbons there. Yep, a little bit of a, a spell since I've played this particular part, but... Yeah, right. What do we have in here? Confession letter. Alexia, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She is everything to me. I would overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Ashford family, which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Together, we will restore our family name. Once that has been achieved, I'll build a palace where only nobles may gather. I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia, to who my life is devoted to. She reigns the world as queen, with I as her servant. Uh, right, got distracted with that. Uh, with I as her servant. That is my dream, and how sweet it will be. Those accomplishments will be the proof of my love towards Alexia. It is the purpose of my existence. All other people are meaningless, and they shall soon uh, prostrate themselves before Alexia and I, devoted to my beloved Alexia, Alfred Ashford. Yeah, he's pretty out there. Um, yeah, Harry Jump Jet, very nice. Very freaking strange relationship thing going on between these two. Uh, Claire, if you, uh, uh, you know, anytime. Thank you. Very, very weird. This game's just got this weird creepiness to it. The Resident Evil hasn't really captured for a long time. I mean, have I enjoyed the modern classics as I, I think they will be? Resident Evil, you know. Eight, etc., and the remakes, yes, but there is something missing. There's just something deviously creepy um, with these older games. It's just the atmosphere, the music, you know. Um, yeah, I honestly, I don't think we're ever going to get that back. Resident Evil Now is something totally different to what it was, and not necessarily, you know, everything changes, everything has to change. Um, but yeah, there was just something special about these old games. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.